Hey, I have a Japan Crate snack food box. This box, just so you know, was supposed to have arrived in April of 2020 because of COVID. It did not. Um, <laughs> it, it got shipped back. It got stuck at the warehouse. It was late, late, late. So I actually just got it in September and I think that's just bananas and some of the stuff was a little melted. So I was kind of bummed out, but what I did was go ahead and open up a few of the products and try them. So at least I could say, Hey, you know, I liked this. I didn't like this, that kind of thing, but they've got a list of everything that came with it. Um, sweet and salty Haru potato. That's a chip. Um, I didn't open those. I actually don't eat potatoes. I don't eat nightshades at all, but, um, I'm going to give them to somebody else. And I asked somebody who tried them and they said they are basically like, um, potato chip, but they have a little bit of, uh, like rice wine tasting sugar in them. And that's, that's kind of a neat idea. I thought that might be kind of cool. And then they have, uh, fruit basket gummies. Those are... I don't know. They're in the bottom. We'll get to them. Um, petite divination chocolate. So these are little tiny chocolate balls and I ate them all. I'm not, I'm not a good person guys. I'm sorry. I ate them all. Basically what happens is you pop these out and they taste like, um, sixlets and there's a circle or a triangle behind the foil. And basically you're supposed to ask it a question. Um, it says O and X. It's not O and X. It's O and square, um, or triangle, but anyway, it's kind of weird. So it's supposed to give you a yes or no answer to your questions. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, they also have, um, sherbet paracola. It's like fun dip. So, um, I gave that to my spouse. He said it was really good. He said it basically tastes like fun dip. I have a store here locally that carries them, so I was able to get another package. Um, it's right here, and they basically, it tastes kind of like, I don't want to say like Pepsi exactly, but it's got a, like a, a soda taste. Um, so they're, they're kind of like Fun Dip, or um, I think they're called Lickamades, but you know, I mean, that's different. <laughs> um there are strawberry mochis in here. They were so good. So they were little, little rice cake mochis. And on the inside they had, um, like a strawberry flavored goop. And this is the package they came in. Totally ate those. They were tiny, really cute, really tasty, big fan. Um, Sakura milk caramel corn. Um, that is in the other room and I didn't bring it in here. I'm sorry. It was, it was weird. Um, oh wait, no, I brought that in here. Hang on. Here it is. Oh, I have it. Okay. This was weird. I didn't like this at all. These are shaped kind of like shrimp and they have the texture of Cheetos, but they tasted like fish and sugar. And it was kind of vaguely like the caramel corn you get in the big tins, but also like, um, uh, miso or you know something with seaweed and it just and it has seaweed powder and it also has fish powder in it it's in the ingredients list I thought that was super bizarre didn't finish eating those um I could see that being a big thing in Japan and probably even Korea but I was like oh, I'm not a fan of this um ice bar soft candy they are ice cream flavored little candies and they have, they're super cute. They have a little DIY ice cream bar. So they come with little packets and you tear them open and you pour them into a little tray and you stick the stick in there and they make little like gummy, chewy ice cream bar candies. I might open this up for you guys later and let you see if I've had them before. I uh, bought them at Disney World, but I thought somebody might actually want to see what those are like, you know, on the inside. So, um, then they had, um, crispy chocolate. Where is that? Is that in here? I thought I left that in here. Here it is. Here it is. So this is actually, um, it was basically tasted like a weird off brand, um, Hershey bar and it had little crisp rice pieces in it, kind of like a rice crispy treat. It kind of reminded me of the little, um, there's like a Hershey bar that that's a miniature that comes with little crunchy rice pieces in it, but it tasted more like fake chocolate and it does have chocolate flavoring and chocolate 
artificial chocolate flavor. So it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't hate it. It was just a little strange. Um, grape ball. They are a little jelly. I didn't eat this guy, but I've had these before. Um, I actually like the, uh, durian and there's a melon one I like a lot, but they're basically a little squishy jelly candy and you pop them out of here and eat them. And they're kind of liquidy like jello. They have a really weird texture. Um, they usually don't taste like what this says they do either. Then um, cola flavored roll candy sour cola gummies. They taste a lot like the other cola candy, but they are sour. It's kind of a weird combination. I don't, they have something in there that is not quite like Pop Rocks, but it does, if fizzy could have a taste, it tastes fizzy. And then it's also a little bit sour, but not like you know, crybabies or warheads or anything like that. It's just a little sour. Um, kind of maybe the way that sour beers are sour. It's like a sour soda flavor. Um, Bourbon Blanc Tool Mini Sucor flavored um, little biscuit cookies. Holy cow. If you see those, buy those. Buy them anywhere. They were they were so good. Um, they were little light, fluffy, almost like little um, crunchy wafer cookies. They kind of reminded me of uh, sugar wafers. And then the inside of them had a, uh, Sakura filling, which is kind of like strawberry, but not quite. Uh, it said they're a limited edition. So if you have an Asian grocer or something near you, go look for those. I don't, I don't even think it matters what brand. I mean, these were good, but I'd have eaten anything from that company. I really liked the cookie texture. thought they were great. Uh, same thing for these Sakura matcha cream collection. I know it says cream colon on it and that's kind of weird. <laughs> They were a little um, crispy, light, sugar wafer textured green tea cake with filling that it also kind of tastes like strawberry. It's Sakura. If you haven't had that, I don't, I don't know how to describe it other than kind of like strawberry or kind of like cherry. Um, but yeah, they were, they were great. I loved the texture of those and they came in a, a bag inside of here. So big fan like those. Um, Sakura matcha Pocky, you're seeing kind of a theme here, probably. Uh, it was the same thing. Crunchy Pocky outside, a um, little bit of Sakura uh, cream flavoring through the middle of them on the stick. I liked them, but I am not a huge Pocky fan. It's kind of just okay to me. Um, I've had stuff I like better. I thought it was all right. Then they have Monster Gum. This is three um, little gumballs, and they are flavored like the Monster Energy drinks, which I think are super gross. So <laughs> I didn't, I didn't open those. Um, well, I pulled them open just so I could see what they look like, but I didn't eat them. They're all still in the package. I will probably give those away because monster energy drinks are yucky and kind of weird. So there was the bonus item, which was something that just came in this box, uh, for the first, like certain number of subscribers. Um, it was a Kit Kat containing 0.07% alcohol because they were, um, they were sake. They were Sakura sake. And they were amazing. So good. They were Sakura, but the sake flavor, um, it was like a little bit of a sweet sake, like not, I don't, I don't want to say rice wine. You probably had sake. If you're listening to this, you probably had it. Anyway, um, I thought they were fantastic. The sugar wafers were the part that tasted like sake and the cream in the middle. And then the outside, that's the pastel candy, was the Sakura. But the, you know, cherry blossom flavor, the Sakura flavor was in the cream a little bit too, but it mostly tasted like fizzy sake. I was a huge fan. I ate the entire bag. That, they were great. And now I have a bunch of Kit Kats in different flavors, and I think they deserve the, their own video. So I think they're going to get their own video. But um, they also had chocolate hit flakes. Those were weird. Those were super weird. They also tasted like artificial chocolate. And they were little round um, pucks, basically, of like a crunchy, light, kind of airy chocolate. But they mostly just tasted kind of fake and like fake cocoa flavor. They were really odd. Um, I gave one away and I ate the other one. And the person I gave the other one to was crazy about it and was going to go order them. And I thought they were weird. I wouldn't eat them again, honestly, because they were just kind of strange tasting. But... Um, and I normally like chocolate from Japan cause it's not as sweet as what we get, but there you go. Um, chewy candy, taffy, golden pineapple and peach flavored. Um, I opened this, 
I took a nibble. It's basically like a stick of taffy that's down in there. It's just like Laffy Taffy. It's not bad. Um, I really like pineapple and peach, so I thought it was good. I don't think that would be everybody's thing. And then there was strawberry Coca-Cola. Haven't opened that. Still have it. It's a full-size Coca-Cola. And they also had um, some stuff in here that I guess it didn't... I don't know why it wasn't on the paper. I thought that was a little bit strange. Um, there is... This was just thrown in the top. Uh, Starbucks Origami Spring Blend. It's like a little paper drip coffee filter that's got coffee in it and it's Sakura coffee and you unfold it and set it in your cup and it makes coffee you pour hot water through it I haven't tried it I'm really curious but I haven't tried it yet um I will like that's in the cards that's the plan there were two of them in here and I have no idea why those aren't in the paper because they were they were mentioned on the website but um I'm kind of looking forward to that I will I'll come back and let you know what I think uh, the Japan crates are $35 and I seriously think, let's back up a little bit. All this stuff came with it and I think, I think they're worth it. I think it's a pretty cool, um, you know, little snack box. So I'll be getting, plus it's, it's pretty, um, I'll be getting some more of them and I'll be doing the Kit Kat video first. Let me go get some Kit Kats. Let's get some Kit Kats and eat some Kit Kats. How about that? Um, check that out. That'll be coming up here pretty soon.